One of my most popular ever videos was how to journal using Notion. Uh, Notion helped me create a daily habit out of journaling and it's one of the most effective productivity tools out there and also just a really great way to reflect on the day and just try and get a little bit better every day, compounding that over years and years. Now, while I still use that Notion template, I found a way to make it 10 times as good by using some AI assistance with ChatGPT. So in this video, I'm just gonna take you through the exact system that I use and how I use ChatGPT to augment my journaling. So the actual system that I use hasn't really changed that much. Uh, I still reflect every morning on how much of my life has been completed, the day of the week, just keeps me centered on what needs to be done. Um, and then I start with a mental model, which at the moment is how I leverage everything that I could currently do. Now the next point is where I start to use ChatGPT a little bit more. So one of the first things that I try and do every morning is say three things that I am grateful for. Now, if you're anything like me, it can often be very difficult to actually think of things that we're grateful for. You just end up writing the same thing, like, oh, you know, this nice cup of coffee, or oh, my friends, or my business, or my girlfriend, or whatever it might be. And then you just stop feeling grateful for those things because they're what you put out every day. So what I now do is sometimes if I'm struggling in the morning to think of things that I'm grateful for is I'll actually just come into chat GPT and I'll ask it like can you just give me some pointers of things I'd be grateful for it seems like a little bit weird uh, but trust me it actually works especially when you ask it to give you counterintuitive examples um, so here for example you know it's given me some really interesting things about you know going through some you know difficult times or you know being wrong or like not necessarily things you would less necessarily think that you're going to be grateful for but when you actually start to think in this mindset you might actually write down oh you know i'm so glad that i made this wrong career decision uh because then it led me to where i am today or something like this so i find this is a really good tool to actually just get the most out of uh you know the gratitude journaling it really does give you some great examples that just kind of spark your memory uh, so the next thing is in my journal is like what would make today great and generally here i'm thinking about okay like what am i going to get done in the day that's going to make the day worthwhile and again i use chat gpt for this because sometimes you might have an overarching goal of like a big thing that you want to do in a day but it can be difficult to break it down into more tangible tasks so here i've just asked it like imagine that i wanted to get in a day a sales plan for my business done how can I break this down into smaller steps? And then it's given me three smaller steps. I could then just copy this, um, you know, into the uh, in, into here. Um, put down, you know, the, the three things. You know, defining my target market. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't put in the, the whole description here. Uh, defining my sales strategy, and then ultimately, you know, creating my sales plan. And this is just going to help me not feel overwhelmed and actually just really you know, understand the nuts and bolts of the work that I have to do. The next one I don't actually use ChatGPT for, it's just my um, life purpose and all I do is um, right out here, I lead teams creating products that simplify, I think I'd be better at typing this by now, that simplify lives. And then I just do this three times over just in my head to reiterate, you know, what I'm kind of uh, striving for in this life and yeah, what I ultimately think my purpose is. And the focus of the day, all I'm going to do is take what will make today great uh, and just take the kind of big output of that, which is going to be, um, you know, create a sales plan. And then that's going to be uh, the AM part of the session done. Now, the PM part is more reflective. So there is some, you know, help here to, to using chat GPT and, and AI tools. And we'll go into that. The first thing I'm just going to do is reflect on how I used my uh, mental model. So this might be, you know, for example, today I, you know, saw that I was uh, creating all of these videos on Final Cut for my um, company and I trained someone else on how to do that and now I don't have to do that. So that would be an example of leveraging my um, everything I do and being aligned to my quarterly mental model. Um, this one again isn't really one that I would necessarily use for chat GPT. It's, you know, three amazing things that happened today. Uh, I would probably just go back in time and think, okay, what was three things that really stood out? One thing though that it can be uh, helpful for is 
sometimes you don't even necessarily know what to look out for. Like you might be going back through the day and it's not quite obvious what made today, uh, you know, a good day. So this is a question that I quite like to ask ChatGPT. Uh, I say, you know, what are a couple of small moments I could look out for today to become more mindful? And here, you know, it says like, you know, taking a, you know, a break to just walk outside, you know, mindful eating, uh, be present in your interactions. So what I might put in here today is like, oh, well, you know, I just managed to go for a, for a walk or I was really present in a particular conversation. And then this becomes a reinforcing loop because the next day I'm going to be taking that, you know, amazing thing that happened hopefully into the next day. The final one that is not using ChatGPT is the habits built. So I'm basically just going to tick these off. I've done them or not. Uh, I try and build these habits and, uh, and do them every day. And the final thing is where we're going to get into a little bit of a gray area of where some people might want to use ChatGPT and others might not. And it's with the more reflective side of journaling. So what I initially used to do here is when it was, you know, where did I go wrong today? How could I improve? I would just free write and I would just write about, you know, a certain topic or something that happened, what went wrong and, you know, how I potentially could have approached the situation in a better way. I still do that, but I, I actually find that using uh, chat GPT can be a really good or a better way of, uh, of, of doing this. So one example here is say you've had something that's happened and this is almost like therapy, honestly, like I might even do a video of how chat GPT could like replace a therapist because it's kind of odd uh, how, um, you know, helpful this can be for, for certain things. Um, but just imagine that you pose it this question that, you know, you got annoyed at someone at work and, you know, you had an outburst that probably wasn't too productive. Um, and rather than just kind of writing your own thoughts, you can actually ask it to maybe give you some feedback as to how you could deal with this situation better in the future. And again, this isn't going to be necessarily prescriptive, but sometimes you might have some elements that are being surfaced by the AI tool that just make you think uh, a little bit deeper than what you would have usually done if you were just writing this completely self-reflectively. So what I would usually do is still keep up my free writing, but instead of just, um, you know, just writing on my own, if I get blocked or if I want a particular insight onto a problem, I'll just come into ChatGPT, ask it, and then transfer this over to my journal. So yeah, that's basically everything. Uh, this is my V2 journal. Um, I've got the template for the Notion uh, in the description below, so you can get that if you want. And then obviously ChatGPT is an open tool that's free at the moment for everybody to use if you want to start incorporating it like I have. But yeah, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, really do appreciate it. And if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on productivity and you know how we can leverage AI. Got a lot planned for the next few weeks and months. But thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.